Okay, today we did some uh, some stuff from the guard, sort of uh, like tent planet kind of stuff, uh, from like a rubber guard to a spider web. So I'll show you a couple of these. So I start out with the rubber guard here, right? Get my mission control and. We did some other stuff, but it really streamlines down to this. When you reach back around, push the arm over here, keep the posture broken down, and then down here, turn. from here you end up in with the leg underneath so all you really have to do is just shoot that leg through a triangle and you can take the arm bar right here then get a much simpler version so I get my sort of rubber guard is position here and not even worrying about getting the zombie so all we do was just we kind of push this through put my hand in my pocket and then as I go for the flip instead I just put my foot under the neck and open up my legs as of here I still get into I still end up in spider web position and then from here of course we went through some of the some of the brakes the grip brakes but since my guy doesn't have any fingers makes that a little bit difficult to show but one of the ones that was really cool that we did do is either you can put your foot in here or in between his legs or if he tries to swallow it into like a quarter guard and then from there all you do is just step over here grab that leg and then end up in this 411 position where you've got turn around here in this position here so I've got the inside heel hook right here if if he crosses his feet to try to protect from that inside heel hook I can just go in and grab that here, fish under it, and this turns into, I don't know if it's a calf slicer or an ankle lock, but it's definitely submission. If he goes and crosses his feet the other way, of course, then, then I can just overhook that here, and then we've got this clover leaf type position where I can still go in, take the heel hook. Other option here that you have is like toe hold. So lots of leg options there. Okay, we also did uh, another one from the guard. And I know we've done something similar to this before, which is he had us go to this this top notch, top knot kind of guard here, but it was really just to get to the top position here. So I'm here, assuming I was going to try and spin for an arm bar, and my opponent stands up. So really, I just let him go, and I get to, and I get to an X guard here.
So from here, I've got to hold them up. I've got this ankle in here, this one on the hip. I bring the top foot down to the ankle and pull it back. And that makes him post out. And in doing so, then I straighten my legs, pull that, pull that leg through here. And that again puts me in this perfect heel hooking position or various other leg lock position. So quite a bit. Seemed like we spent most of our time on the rubber guard, but I got a lot of uh, good leg locks out of it. That's it.